All right, what's going on and welcome to the video guys. We are going to be on steps in the Leopard, the Leo, and I decided to get this tank. I uh, I realized that I marked a lot of the light tanks, but never actually played the Leopard, the Tier 5 Leopard, because once you go from the Lux to the Leopard, to the Lukes, there's not really a big improvement. Um, but I figured, you know, I might as well just get this thing since I kind of already know how to play the uh, the tier four version. I mean, plus I, I'm good with lights. So like a tier five, like this is like what I'm good at, right? A lower tier in the light tank is just where I, you know, excel. I mean, I'm really good at light tanks, but what I'm saying is it's easy for me to carry a game um, you know, the lower the tier is. So a tier five, uh, you know, it shouldn't be that difficult. And sure enough, this was a carry here. And, you know, we're getting very comfortable in the Leo. This is only like my third or fourth game or some, something. I don't know. We'll look at the end plates and see how many games I've played in the Leopard. But, um, you know, without further ado, let's jump in. I'm going to kind of two times it because we're just sitting here for a while and stuff. Um, and this is what Steps is. I mean, Steps is a very open map. And it can be very boring for a light tank. I don't hate the map though, because at least it's you know a fairly large map, and has its alleyways and stuff. It's simple, um, but you know it's it, it, it's a decent map because it's a thousand meters as opposed to like Ensk, that's basically almost the same thing as this, but it's freaking half the size. So gonna go try and save the Artie there. Um, you know, this Chaffee or whatever it was just YOLO'd through the middle of the map, and that is not uncommon at this tier. So, by the way, this is a 5-6 game, so we're actually bottom tier. My dad was over here in the Wolverine. Um, I have no idea how his performance went, but it looks like um, we're going to lose this line. And I'm just trying to, at this point, put myself somewhere where I could do something, right? Because on steps, I always find that whenever I am playing on this map i feel like i am never doing something productive to help the team um you know I, I sit in the middle of the map a lot of times and just try and spot stuff but it's very difficult to play this map as a light tank so i'm going to try and pull up this way and just start taking shots at the valiant and luckily we're getting some shots into this guy i'm loading apcrs because i know this tank is pretty strong when it comes to armor and yeah we just basically annihilate this guy i didn't think i was going to pen him that many times but he just kind of ignored me there and i was trying to help my teammates but they also died so now the um nine zero line is wide open and you know i see that the churchill and there's a wolverine over here and something else that is trying to push into my guys and we're probably going to end up losing this line too and it's probably just going to be me and Artie at some point so i'm going to come up here just stop here for a moment i want to do i want to help these guys but I want to make sure no one is coming through this line, so I'm just going to take a couple blind shots at the hill. Why not? And now I'm going to rush over and try and help the KV-1. I'm telling the KV-1 to come back if you can, if it's safe, but I don't think it is. It's just hard to get out of here. So I'm going to rush in and see if I can help this guy. Here's the Wolverine. I ricochet on him. I'm hoping that no one is back over in this this direction, you know, to, to, to my left here. Um because I do not want to get whacked by something and I'm looking and I'm like really it's just there's an M10 back there somewhere but I think he was the one that was over here and that's pretty much it it's just Artie in the M10 so that guy goes down to the Artie I believe and this Artie um, played a very good game so now it's just me and the Artie against two Arties and the M10 and I know that the M10 was here I'm telling the gorilla um, look, dude, we have to defend because it's just you and me against three tanks. They have, you know, I mean, we could push, but look, we're down 358 HP and they have an extra tank. So in this situation, you really should defend. I know that I can outspot the M10. So, you know, in, in, in a situation like this, we defend. Now we really have to defend because the gorilla went over and knocked down a tree. I think he knocked down this tree over here. And I said, Are, were you spotted? I, I highly doubt you were, because I probably would have lit something back here. And um, he said, he said, no, I wasn't. I knocked down a tree. <laughs> so he knocked down a tree, and one of the Arties, um, you know, basically blind fired, and they killed him. So now it's just me against two Arties and the M10. I don't know actually what the M10's HP was at this time. I don't know if I asked it in chat or not, but you're gonna kind of see what happens here. I'll fast forward 
you know, because this will get pretty good. And at this point, it's like, I, I should defend. But what I'm going to do is I want to see if I can get a jump on this M10. I want to see where he is. So if I could do that, it would really pay off because he's the only one that I really have to kill. Like, Artie, I can manage, because Artie has no view range. I can probably work that. But the M10 is going to be extremely difficult. So here we go. Here's the M10. I'm, I'm trying to get a shot here. I miss. I get one here. I get, I get the second. And Gorilla and both the SU-8 are now going to target me, so I'm going to run. But it's good that I killed the M10. That is what I was saying is the most important part of this because once I kill the M10, well, now I can work against these Arties. I can pull up and probably be able to get shots at these people without them spotting me. As it turns out, that's not really the case. The gorilla was still able to spot me, but I tried my best here. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to poke, poke at him like this. I wanted to kind of use this bush, but there's just no angle to do it, right? It's just You just can't, can't make it work. So SU-8 targets me there, and this just isn't going to happen, guys. I can't make this work. So I'm going to have to find a different method. There's 40 seconds left on the cap. This person's saying, get in his face. You can get him. But the problem with rushing this guy is that I'm a light tank. If this guy is able to put one shot into me directly... I could almost die from one shot and not to mention the su-8 is still back here so if this guy tracks me you know i do have my repair kit i can repair once and then the rd tracks me again well now i'm in a situation where if i don't have a shot at the gorilla he's going to cap out right so like there's just certain things you don't really like i think about everything when i'm coming i'm thinking i think about the worst that can happen and the worst that can happen is i get like penned by the gorilla and then the su-8 hits me but there's also other things that can happen, like me becoming tracked using my repair kit and then the other already hitting me and getting tracked again. And then the gorilla can hide behind the tank. You know, there's just things that people don't think about. They're like, you can get him, go get him, go get him. And everyone's just like a freaking keyboard warrior when you're the only one left. And it's not that simple. You have to think these things out. Unfortunately, I only have 25 seconds, so I'm going to have to do something aggressive, right? So here we go. We're going to go after the gorilla. I'm weaving around here trying to avoid the SU-8. Let's slow it down into regular time. Here we go. We're coming at him. I'm going to pretend to go this way, and then I'm going to dodge around him this way. He shoots. He misses clearly. There's no way he can turn in time to do that, make that shot. I'm going to, you know, rip this guy apart. And this is the best situation or the best scenario for the situation. SU-8 could have hit me there. He missed. So as it, you know, as it turns out, um, that was really the best outcome. So here we go, we've killed the gorilla, and now we just need to kill the SU-8. So I know that he's, I wasn't really paying attention to where he hit me from, like the direction thing, but I knew he was somewhere in this direction. So here we go, we kind of spot him here, and he's rushing. I don't know why he decided to do this, because he's right here, right? And I'm just going to come away, come from the side of him. There's no way he can turn in time to make this work. So, you know, I'm just going to roll up and slide behind him. And I have this game won easily, guys. I'm going to, you know, spend an extra two seconds kind of taking that last shot there just as a show off kind of thing, a, a dick move. And that's the game. 1,283 damage, 209 assists, four kills, and there's your carry. I mean, like I said, it wasn't any kind of spectacular game, but, um, you know, we were able to um, win this game for our team. So that's it. Um, you know, I do have end plates for this. I will show you guys, but I'm just trying to think of anything else to um, to kind of give you guys information on. Um, whenever you're rushing Artie on the cap like that, just really try and juke them out quick. You don't want to get hit. You know, you could, you could say all you want about Artie, like being really bad at the game and being not being good at you know very very close combat like that but i'm telling you the amount of times i've got hit by Hardy from like 10 meters away is ridiculous it happens guys um and you really want to try and make the smartest play possible when you're the only person left alive even if you're full hp anyway this was a second class game um i don't know what these badges are and um 1283 damage four kills 836 experience and Believe it or not, the VK actually um, beat me with damage and experience. He had a very, very good game. Um, you know, we can also thank him for the win. Um, what else? Uh, we lost coin because we shot a crap ton of APCRs. And um, yeah, that's about it. So hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you learned a thing or two. I know it's tier five. It's kind of a low tier, but um, I am enjoying playing the Leopard. It's a different kind of tank. Um, you know, it's... <sighs> 
It has good view range and all, but the gun is just kind of lacking. I prefer to run this gun on it, by the way. You can run the machine gun. That gun actually never existed in real life, but they put it on this tank and the looks as well. And people love running those guns. They're very effective, but only in close range combat. I do not think that they are game carryable, I'll just say. You know, I'd much rather have these guns that can hit people from render range, even if the dispersion is not that good, because the the other gun only has 400 meters, um, you know, of, of effectiveness. And when you're at 400 meters, forget hitting like half of the shots anyway, right? So that's it, guys. I will catch you for the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.